So with ghost recon violence, there are several challenges. The, the first one was obviously uh, being uh, constructed such a huge world because um, when we the Bolivia that we wanted to create is uh, very true to the one uh, that uh, already exists and we wanted it to feel as authentic. So you will uh, we have more than 11 uh, ecosystems uh, that uh, you can explore. So you might spend time in the jungles and with the humidity and uh, all the different vegetation and then go in the mountains with the snow. You can go in the f uh, salt flats that you have uh, in Bolivia. You can drive along the uh, infamous death road. So that was one of the challenges. But in terms of gameplay, the biggest challenge was the co-op. Because this game is a game that we wanted the players to experience with friends. And we wanted the players to be able, to, from the beginning to the end, uh, to uh, play any missions. It's not like you have co-op missions, everything can be played in co-op. And we wanted to make sure that everyone could uh, have their own progression and play all together, even uh, whatever the level was. So it means that you cannot have like enemies that uh, uh, raise with the level, like in a game like Desert Division with more HP or etc. Uh, it's really more about your skills. And uh, making sure that every mission can be played at any moment is uh, quite complex in the end. Uh, but uh, we are really happy with uh, the result. Yes, we had uh, several challenges and we didn't plan for exactly four years when you're beginning the game. But we knew that with this Ghost Recon, Going, uh, going open world was a big challenge. And uh, we knew that we are the very first military shooter set in a huge open world like that. And we knew it would take us some time. And we didn't want to sacrifice on the quality or anything. So that's the reason why it took a very long time. But it's quite uh, normal when you uh, shake up a brand uh, like uh, we did. It often takes a long, long time nowadays. I believe that uh, lots of games rely on telling you what to do at a specific moment with quests very precise, with a given order. Even if you are in an open world and you have lots of side missions, if you want to do the story mission, you have to play them exactly the way you are, done, you are told to. With Ghost Recon Wildlands, uh, when you start, you don't have to do the very first mission or anything. You can uh, steal a, an helicopter and fly to the other, uh, the opposite of the map and play it and discover the story that way. The way we, uh, we did it is more like we are we're running a TV show with different episodes that are spread all around the world rather than one linear movie. And this is something that allows you really to be free. And I think that more, uh, after Ghost Recon Wildlands, more games will do the same. And uh, it's also something that's true even in the way you approach uh, the camps. All the camps are built in a way that you all the gameplay situations in a way that we call the 360 approach, meaning that there's no one way to do it or one good way to do it. It's really up to you. So if you want to spend time using your, your drone to recon uh, the different environments, if you want to snipe people from far away, if you want to have a stealth approach, it's something that you can do. And um, I think that more and more people will ask for more freedom in games. And I think that Ghost Recon really sets the bar quite high in, the, in terms of freedom. Ghost Recon Wildlands uh, is a game where we imagine what would happen if Mexican drug cartel took over Bolivia to create a narco state. As a Ghost Recon elite forces, you're supposed to be, uh, you're, it's an unofficial mission where you're not supposed to be here, you are behind enemy lines, and you're in a very dangerous environment where it's up to you to see how you want to take down this uh, uh, cartel. The cartel is called the Santa Blanca Drug Cartel, and they run four different operations. They run uh, drug production, drug smuggling, security to protect all of them, and even influence to influence all the people there in uh, Bolivia to arm them. And it's really up to you to see what weapons you want, what vehicles you want to use, where you want to attack to take down uh, the drug cartel.
Actually, uh, obviously something that we've uh, planned uh, because there are so many uh, places, so many stories, even some experiences that are a bit different from what we wanted to do with the first one, uh, with the game, I mean, and um, it's something that we are going to explore. Uh, I don't know if we can go too much into details right now, but stay tuned, uh, you'll see that uh, it will go further. Even with the game uh, here, you have an additional mission that is it's set in, per with, uh, in Peru. So it's something that will uh, bring uh, more flavor to the game. Okay, so for uh, all of you that either played the beta or didn't yet, I really recommend you to uh, try Ghost Recon when it's launched on the 7th of March and play it with friends or play it alone as you prefer. Uh, be creative with the game, experience as much as you want because uh, it's really uh, up to you to choose the experience that you will live in Ghost Recon Wildlands.